guys, welcome to today's video, something different today. And look at where I am. I'm all the way in Australia at Anne Reardon's house. Hello! <laughs> so a, so much, much for a massive thank you for having me. It's, it's amazing. It's my pleasure. It's been <laughs> so much fun. So I've just filmed um, another video with Anne over on the How to Cook That channel. If you haven't seen it yet, which I'm sure you probably have, because most of you will have seen her amazing videos, <laughs> um, do pop over and give them a look. And today, Anne's gonna help me make one of my face cakes that I normally make, so I thought we'd go Australian themed. Lovely, because we're in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna I'm, go koala. I've already made Zoe eat Vegemite, so. <laughs> oh yeah, this, do you want still hidden under it? there. I'm, I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure I'm ready for a second round of Vegemite, but thank you for it. <laughs> and yeah, and Anne's gonna put a bit of an Australian twist mm. on it for us. We're going to use some cherry ripes in the filling, which if you're an Australian, you can use these. If you're not, you can use other chocolate bars. It's okay, you can still make it. It's all good. I've got a cake ready made. Great. I wish I could say I'd baked it, but I didn't. <laughs> because I'm over in Australia, I've not had much chance to do baking. Um, and we've just divided it into three layers, which we're going to fill with some of your lovely filling. And Great. And cream. So I'll let you I'll show, show you how, how to do the filling. Cream. Great, so all you need for the filling, super easy. All you need is two cherry wraps. So we're gonna chuck them in a bowl. Don't worry so about is the breaking cherry. them up. Oh, you have to taste one, eat that bit. Mm. So it's basically, I'll let you describe it. Coconut, coconut. so it's mm. coconut and cherries. So a bit nice. like a bounty, do you have bounty for mm. the UK? Like a bounty, but cherry flavored. With, but not that sort of cough mixture cherry flavor, it's more like actual That's cherry nice. flavor. Mm. So you chuck them in a bowl, then all you do is add the cream on top and then you add some milk chocolate. The only reason we're adding milk chocolate is to thicken it up so it's a mm. bit like a ganache. If you just do cream and cherry rub it's going to be too runny and it's going to just ooze out of your cake which I assume you don't want for your koala oozing with cherry mm -hmm. rubs. Chuck it in the microwave and we'll give that about 30 seconds. Just to Still melt chewing. it all down together. <laughs> <laughs> Still chewing the cherry wrap. Okay, do cherry wraps get a thumbs up or a mm. thumbs down? I like them. I like the mom and bar There mm. you go. All right, so this is not going to quite be melted enough, but you get the idea. Basically, you just heat up the cream and chocolate until you can stir it together and it all melts together really well. And then if you just leave that overnight on the counter to cool, the next day or the next couple of hours, you end so up with you this. Made earlier. That's what I made earlier, exactly. So you can't, well you could use this, but I wouldn't use this on the outside of the cake mm -hmm. because it's a little bit lumpy. That's the coconut in it. But if you taste that, it's still mm, going to taste right. of cherry ripe. Mm. So you can do that with any chocolate bar that you like. Just break them up, chuck it in there with some cream mm. and then add a little bit of chocolate to thicken it up. Mm. And you'll end up with a filling that tastes of your favourite chocolate bar. Alright. That's really good. So. If we stick that now in our cake, yes, I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> you need so much chocolate. Layers. Sometimes I pipe buttercream around the edge if I'm doing a filling, especially uh -huh. if it's. Do you do that? If it's like a Sometimes, liquidy filling. Yeah. But this is to pretty hold much, it in as like a bit of a dam. So then we'll just that spread that out. You can see the chunks of chocolate oh, and cherry yeah. and coconut in there. It looks yum. And I'll give you this one. Now, have you ever actually seen a koala? Did you see one on this trip? Yeah, I saw one at, I think, Featherdale. Is my called Featherdale? And I got to feed the wallabies and I got to touch the bottom of a, a, a koala. koala. I had to pay though to touch it. Of course you would. Mm -hmm. Did you smell it? No. Was I supposed to smell it? Yeah, they stink. Um, they really smell I'm horrible. glad I didn't <laughs> smell it. <laughs> Koalas, the, the wildlife guy who I spoke to when he had a koala, is like, yeah, they really smell and I foolishly smelt the koala at oh, oh they smell awful so if we just cut the edges off a little bit and it, ideally if you've got a firmer cake it's better if you're doing any kind of carving yes not freshly baked like in the last video <laughs> yeah if you haven't seen the video <laughs> go check it out you probably won't ever want another cake that I've made again after watching it and if it's the only video you ever watch of me I promise we both can actually do <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. She's, she's leaning. She's uh -oh. leaning quite a now, lot. can you remember what the face shape of a koala looks like? You're not looking at any pictures for reference. She's just carving I'm away. Oh, I'm thinking if I leave it fairly round, maybe I'll keep it slightly flatter here. Am I doing yeah, it differently do you know to you? What? I don't know. I always pile it on the top, start on the top, move it down. That's just that definitely makes sense, it. though. I'm not sure if I do that one. <laughs> I think I've lost your chin. 
I've smoothed it so much that there is no koala chin anymore. I don't remember which side it was. We can press it back in, it's fine. So for the acetate, just like you can buy flexible smoothers, or this is just a piece of acetate, isn't it? Can you actually get flexible smoothers? Yeah, so they're um, usually rectangular-ish with kind of curved edges, and the, some of them are this thickness, some are a little bit thicker. Uh, sometimes I just cut my own out of like little cutting mats that are anything plastic flexible that's food safe. Do you have them in your shop? We do have them in our shop, yeah, and we now have an online shop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start buying my stuff from your shop, although it's a I long way to Australia. <laughs> I might only get small stuff. I did notice though, you have, um, I saw one of your videos, you have face molds now. I do, so they they're look a, amazing. Yeah, so they're a new thing I've just brought out. Are they in your store? They are on our online store, yeah, which is just on my website, which is just zoisfancycakes.co.uk. Usually I use the corn flour instead of icing sugar because it doesn't dry out the fondant quite as much. Right, see I haven't tried corn flour. I tried icing sugar and it just dried it. It does, it dries it a lot and then your fondant starts to crack. I mean, sometimes the fondant still starts to crack. It depends how long we spend working with it or right. what brand it is sometimes. It yes. can make a difference. Yes. I'm gonna roll this quite a bit thinner because it's really probably picked up too I much fondant. I can use the big rolling pin. Okay. I'm not used to this really big one. We used this in the video earlier and it took me a bit of getting used to it. It's a big Look, I, uh, I put the corn flour over there and then she's <laughs> rolling it over here. So let's put this over here now. I should have really picked it up with the rolling pen, but I've used I've used my hands today. I that's always fine. use my hands. <laughs> and I've rolled it way bigger than I need to, but again, that's fine. Sometimes if it's longer, it's yes. easier to pull out the pleats, isn't it? Whereas Definitely. if it's shorter, I have to Pull it down a little bit more, stretch it. More. I do that with all my recipes. I write, this is how much fondant you need, but you're gonna have heaps left over. Just because it's easier to work with more than yeah. it is to have just enough and be trying to put it on. Okay, so we'll cut the outside edge off. So Anne, would you usually use a knife or a uh, pizza cutter? Uh, depends on the shape, but pizza cutter I find doesn't drag yeah. the fondant as much. So yes, I prefer a pizza cutter if, if I can. <laughs> oh, in fact, what I'm gonna do is give you the off cuts. I'm just gonna let you make me some ears. So if I think my nose went about there, what I'm gonna do is just press for where I want the eyes to be, because it's, sometimes it's nice if there's a little bit more shape. Yes. So I'm gonna press in here. So even though the cake is fairly rounded shaped underneath, because the buttercream and everything's still soft, I can kind of push it around a little bit. I haven't seen a koala, so I don't really know. Uh, well, I've seen them, but not in the wild. It's like oh, I've seen okay. them. You know when I see them, when American YouTubers come to Australia and YouTube puts on events and they get Australian wildlife in, that's when I see Australian wildlife. Aww. Apart from that, you just koalas I haven't seen. I think they are in some parts of Australia, but I've lived in Western Australia, I've lived in Sydney right by the bush and I've obviously lived here in Melbourne and I have never seen a koala in the wild. So <laughs> I've seen plenty of kangaroos, never a koala. So I'm not familiar with their ear shape. So I'm just gonna push them on. If they don't stick, usually I just use a little bit of water. Yeah, see if oval that shape, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think that, No, I like that. Is that all right? Yeah, I think all that's right. nice. You can reshape it. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. I'm not reshaping it, it's good. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we do one closed, so he's winking and one open. Then they don't have to be even. No, no, it doesn't matter. That's a good idea. The same. <laughs> I'm just putting a bit of white in the middle of their ears. Usually I put pink in the middle of like animals' ears, but actually when I'm looking at pictures, I think they're they are white. They're white, koalas, yeah. definitely. They have different colored fur in the middle. Um, I think that you should move to Australia, and I should just do this with all my videos. I'll just get you to bake, and I'll just <laughs> <laughs> roll fondant. This is so much easier than... <laughs> and I'm thinking we should add a bit of texture to the ears. I'm probably not gonna add too much texture everywhere else, but to the ears, let's... Let's make them a little bit fluffy. Look at that, they look so good. But maybe I should use the fat end of the tool rather than the thin end. And I just need to put it dark over. Dark grey or light grey? Um, oh, maybe dark grey. Yeah. So it's got a bit of contrast. Bit of that one, yeah. I don't know how big a difference it is between that grey and this grey, but we can see. We'll I'll just squish it in a little bit. It's looking so good. It's very simple though, isn't it? And then you're gonna dust it. I was thinking, yeah, maybe we could put a little bit of dust on that. Let's see if we can curl, curl the eyelashes up a little bit at the outside edge. In fact, and what I'm thinking we should do is rather than wiping the board, mm -hmm. maybe we should make some little green leaves. Oh, that's some flat green leaves, and we can put them on the board. I think they're normally are they a little bit white around the chin. Koalas. See now, remember when I said I can't make anything unless I have a picture of it? <laughs> I really meant that. I have no memory for what things look like. Yes, they are white around the chin. Yeah, I'm wondering whether we add an extra white bit or whether it might look And then they have a little darker bit here. 
Ooh, yeah, like a little moustache. Yes. Obvious. That's what koalas have, I totally knew that. Alright, I'm gonna have to use your cornstarch, which I've never you done before. My cornstarch. First time for everything. Yeah, there we go, that's a little chin. And then maybe I could draw in a little smile. Black work a treat. <laughs> and then let's just try and put like a little line at the end of his smile. It's still sticking. Is it still really sticking? <laughs> it's still sticking to the table. I probably won't be swapping to cornflower <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> I'm going to use some pink dust while you're doing your leaves and I'm just going to add a little bit to kind of the cheek area which I think is going to be about underneath each eye. Yes. So the dust is just edible oh. dust. Just a little bit, just a dab. Okay, so where should we shade? Let's go a little bit at the base of the ears. There we go. It's probably going to drop on the board but we can cover this with leaves, can't we? So Normally if I'm making leaves, they'll be made out of chocolate. I'm not very good with chocolate. But are you good at eating chocolate? Oh yeah, I can eat it, that's not problem. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are pretty good with chocolate that way. <laughs> so yes, if you come to Australia and you want to hug a koala, it's just not gonna happen, I'm afraid. It just, there's nowhere where you can really hold them and yeah, and do that. I think. I'll see if I can find the picture of me next to it. Yeah. I could touch its bum and get next to it. I'll see if I can find, if I can find a picture, I'll put it up for you guys to see. It's not a very flattering picture. I don't to koala. It wasn't his No, of me. <laughs> the koala didn't look so bad. It was me that didn't look great. Um. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add the leaves with a little bit of water on the back of them, and I'm just going to kind of stick them in either messy bits of my board or just wherever I think it looks nice. I have to pull the ends off some bits. I don't, I don't think we need to use all of them. I'm not sure. I'm just going to pull the end off this one. A little bit of water on the back. Have a little one that pokes up from the top of its head, maybe, I think. And then what I'll do is where it's mucky at the bottom, we'll give it a bit of a body. So we'll go for a fairly big piece that we're just gonna press on tight here. I'm gonna squidge it down till it reaches the size that I want that body to be. And it is quite a lot of fun, but I don't think anybody's really gonna eat this bottom bit anyway. So I think we're good. I think we'll be okay. I'll just cut it off to the shape of the board. So I'm just going to put a piece on here, Oops. let's go for kind of a big teardrop or a giant kind of fat carrot shape, <laughs> a short fat carrot. <laughs> okay, so we get like this kind of shape. Let's put a couple of lines in for the paw and then let's have a look at where this would sit. And we'll just do the same on the other side. So we'll go for kind of a piece that's thin either end. And I'm just going to tuck it into the neck. You, I realise you guys can't see that there, just in here. Yeah, it looks like it's going all the way around. Yeah, and I think what we'll do is, rather than doing a full bow, I'll do half a bow. So it looks like it's tucked under the arm. So we'll have the ball for like the middle of the bow, just poking out. And then we'll do like a little kind of triangle, a fat triangle. So we'll start with a teardrop, kind of Squeeze it, oh, getting a little bit of cracking, but that's fine. Squeeze it down, press a little bit in the middle. And then we'll stick that on one side. That looks so easy when you do it. And then you see that way we only have to do part of a bow, <laughs> rather than a full bow. Let's put a little leaf in the mouth, a little afterthought that doesn't look like it's smoking. <laughs> a little leaf on that. Looks like a leaf moustache. He looks so cute. I love it. Yeah, he's, he's not turned out too bad. So we didn't spend very long on him, did we? Really? No, it all. actually surprisingly was a very quick process for such a cute cake. This would be awesome for Australia Day, or if you have someone who's planning a trip to Australia, or if you just like koalas, or like if me, you like koalas. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I'll put up a picture of him from above so you guys can see him better. And I want to say a really big thank you. To Anne for having me My here, pleasure. having me in this amazing kitchen. It's been so much fun and do pop over to her channel. Thank you everybody for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. You can watch more of my videos by clicking on the screen now. And also, if you want to visit my shop as well, we now have an online website that you can go to and get one everything. of the face molds. They're yes. awesome. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Because your brother you will appreciate it. <laughs> Usually I'll bring a brig up. See? That's all good. <laughs> Usually I'd bring a... a ugh.
So you said usually I'd use a bigger brush, but I didn't bring one. <laughs> if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.